dares. Oh, if only elevator installation wasn't so pricey. Hey, welcome to the Mask Fanatic once again. Mask Fanatics, it's entirely too hot up here, but the masks are cool. And this week's mask in the Mask Fanatic is none other than... Oh, I, I see one. There it is right there. This week's mask here in the Mask Fanatic is this guy known as, known to his friends, as Icar. That's I-K-A-R. Who is Icar, you may ask, or you may not. But for those who do ask, Icar is better known as the Keeper of the Purple Twilight. That's right, from the original Outer Limits episode from 1965, I believe. Is that right, 65? Yeah, he thinks so. The Outer Limits episode called Keeper of the Purple Twilight. Which, by the way, if, uh, if you've seen that episode, you may be in agreement with me that that's got to be one of the most meaningless titles in all of science fiction history because nobody at any point in that episode says anything indicating that anybody is a keeper of any kind of purple twilight. So I don't know what it means, but it has a nice poetic sound to it, doesn't it? It has a nice ring to it. You hear it ring? Yeah. Keeper of the purple twilight. That's a nice ring to it. Anyway, Keeper of the Purple Twilight, aka Icar, right here, uh, has um, been a favorite of mask collectors for many years. There have been several versions and variations over the years, including a, a gorgeous version by uh, Harry Inman. But this particular one is a um, duplicate from an original. That is, it was cast from one of the originals used on the show, you see. Sculpted by Wa Chang, that's the name of the sculptor, way back in the days of the beautiful, wonderful Outer Limits, which, by the way, my personal favorite uh, sci-fi uh, TV series of all time, the original Outer Limits, the black and white early Outer Limits. Check those out sometime. That was an amazing uh, program. Too good for American television. Yeah, he thinks so too. But anyway, Icar here, uh, pretty scarce in the mask world in terms of original uh, mold copies like this one. Although, Distortions Unlimited came to the rescue and uh, released a few of them in uh, 1983. But there weren't that many made. And uh, of the few that were made, uh, there were two different paint schemes used. Some were a uh, normal, just sort of a generic, slightly pale, pinkish, uh, Caucasian, light flesh color. And the others were green, and they both had shiny yellow eyes, and they both had red around the uh, gills. I'm assuming those are gills. Are those gills? Yeah, he says those are gills. But uh, Icar, a wonderful character, and obviously very influential. Uh, he was the first uh, space creature to have this specific type of look, and although... Um, Although he only appeared in that one episode, you see lots and lots of things over the years, uh, Halloween masks and aliens in other films and TV shows and so forth, that you, you can tell had to have been inspired by somebody having seen this uh, visage and it's stuck in their mind. So very influential and significant and uh, really a wonderful uh, character, I think. Wonderful alien design, very imaginative very alien and has a very, uh, has a sort of elegance to it, you know, has this kind of strange beauty that a lot of the Outer Limits masks had. And I don't know where you can find one right now, but there may be uh, iCars available by the time you watch this particular video. But anyway, if you can lay your hands on one, I think it's a tremendously cool mask. iCar, the Keeper of the Purple Twilight from the Outer Limits. And, um, well, Let's, let's start a petition to get Distortions to re-release some of the stuff they did in the 80s, like, uh, like the Outer Limits masks, huh? Okay, maybe, maybe not. We can try, we can ask, sure. And until next time, I'll be waiting for you in the attic. Maybe my attic, maybe yours.